Hi guys, it's Kirby. Welcome to my channel. Okay, so today I'm going to be talking to you guys about how I take my close-up eye pictures. It's taken me a really long time to actually figure out like a good technique and I've gotten a couple inquiries in my Instagram inbox. Not like a million. Not everybody's asking me. When I say a couple, I literally mean like two or three. Okay, so I just wanted to make a quick video on how I actually take them for Instagram. Not that mine are like the cream of the crop, however, it has taken me a very long time from, here I'll pop up some pictures, from when I like first started doing close-up eye pictures to the quality that they are now. Um, and so if I could give a little insight to anybody else, I'm gonna help you out. So. I take mine on my phone. I know a lot of people out there, they take them on like their DSLRs or their handheld Sonys or things like that. Uh, my DSLR currently is set for like filming my YouTube videos. I do not really take it off of its stand, like ever. So I don't ever really touch my DSLR to take it off to do anything. It's my YouTube filming camera and it will stay that way for probably ever until I upgrade it. So I take all of my close-up eye shots on my phone. The phone that I have is a Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus and it actually has a cracked screen. I don't know if you can see that, but I have tape on it. I have tape on it to kind of like hold it together and the crack has just narrowly missed my selfie camera. So sometimes the lighting is a little really tricky. Hopefully in the near future I will be able to upgrade this and then I won't have any cracks and my pictures will come out a little bit better. But for the time being, this is how I do it. So I just click the camera open. I have it in selfie mode and I will say that natural light is the best light. So I generally go over to my window in my filming room and I take pictures over by my window. I do generally kind of run around my house to get different lighting to see different types of how it catches the color, how it catches my eye and things like that. So just know that lighting is very very important when you're trying to get these really close up pictures because the lighting will also help you to focus as well. I'm going to kind of turn this way. I don't know if that's going to be a problem or not. It'll be a problem for lighting but I'll show you in a second. So I have it on the selfie camera and then what I do is I just get really really close to the camera and it's really nice because you're kind of able to see yourself. I tap the center of it to focus and then when I get it framed the way I would like it, I just tap the capture. Um, I take a few from different angles so here I will take And then I will go in and edit them to be square as well as touch up the coloring. I don't generally touch up my photos in terms of like smoothing the skin as much anymore. I used to smooth my skin a lot because I was very self-conscious about the bumps. On my actual eye, I don't generally do much editing on my eye itself because I post a lot of like wearable colorful looks. When you are doing a close-up eye look, ma makeup that generally photographs better is like heavy dramatic makeup or detailed makeup. An everyday like casual neutral eye isn't always going to photograph the best. Things with bright colors, glitter, shimmer, nice crisp lines are always going to photograph a little bit better. Also, I wear my eyebrows kind of heavy to begin with. I've been experimenting with neutral brows. I don't feel like it looks great on me, but when you are doing a close-up photo of your eye, a heavier, more block, no, I don't want to say block, but a more filled in eyebrow that looks a little bit more solid rather than hair like strokes, to me personally, looks a little bit better. I think that's a personal preference. So yeah, I just use my front camera. I kind of block it how I want with the right angles, tap the middle of the screen to focus, and then I take the picture. 
and then I just kind of square it off and edit it. I will say that on the Samsung cameras at least, there are some things like Bixby Vision and there's this little like wand up here um, that when those things are clicked, it sometimes can blur the photo to not be able to get the best result. You're going to want to make sure all filters are off, Bixby's off, anything that could um, enhance your natural selfie without using editing tools and editing apps is going to be turned off. You want it to be crisp, you want it to be clean, you want it to be very raw, if that makes sense. And so yeah. It sometimes, and I will say, just like I said prior, that whenever you have to test different lighting to see how your eye looked it look to see how your eye makeup looks in different lighting, it might take you a couple tries to get the right angle, head tilt, and things like that. Eyebrow lift. I have a like a little bit of a hooded situation, so I'm always like lifting my eyebrow to get like a nice smooth surface picture. It does take practice and also, I feel like once you figure out what's the best way of photographing your eye, you'll kind of learn how to tweak your makeup techniques as well to kind of make your makeup and your application look a little bit better, especially for more dramatic looks, eyebrow looks, and things like that. That's how I take my close-up eye pictures. It's nothing fancy. I use my cracked selfie screen camera and I do very minimal editing on my pictures. I post a lot of colorful, wearable looks on my Instagram. I feel like I'm proficient in eyeshadow. I'm not like one of those Instagram artists that like are crazy talented. But yeah, I just thought that you guys would wanna know. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big old thumbs up. If you find it helpful, let me know down in the comment section below. How do you guys take your close-up pictures? Do you take close-up pictures? Do you not? Let me know all of that in the comment section below. I don't have any products to link in the description box below, so check out some more videos in the description box below. As always, please be sure to subscribe and hit the little notification bell. I would hate for you to miss out on any more videos. Thanks so much for watching, guys.